He said, he would, I'm going to do this in the grocery store parking lot. Was there a point where he said what would happen if you told anyone what he was going to do? He goes, if you don't do this, I'm going to kill you. Was that while he was still driving westbound on Santa Fe Drive before you got to the freeway and the pass? He said, uh, no, that's, that was like probably, yeah, it was right before, right going under it. He said that. He goes, I'm at, I'm going to take you to the Vons, and then if you say anything, I'm going to kill you. So we're going under the underpass. So, Ms. Doe, what did you say to him after he had threatened you in that way? I said, just pull over right here because another light comes up, and the hospital's on the le left left hand or right hand side. And I go, just pull over right next to the hospital because the next light comes right after that. And, and I'll get out. You know, you don't have to go anywhere. Or, you know, I try to, you know, m you know, make it change the subject of what we were, what was going on. <coughs> How did he respond when you told him? He's like, no, no way, I'll kill you. When you told him to pull over and let you out at the hospital, did he say that he would kill you? Yes, he said that he, he was going to get this done. And he, when it, when you, and what that, specifically do you recall him saying uh, about getting this done? Do you remember his exact words? He just said he's gonna fuck me no matter what, and and that was it. What did you do in response? I just begged him, please, just pull over right here. You know, no, you know, just pull over right here. You don't have to drive me anywhere if that's what made you mad. You know, and. Uh, just pull over right here at the light, you know, because the hospital is right there, you know, and it's like, but he went the other way because the, there's, you either go to the hospital or you go to the Rite Aid, so it's, that's where the bonds is. And you're using your hands to gesture the hospital being to the right and then what you call the Rite Aid being to the left, is that right? Well, when you're going this way, it's to the right and then the store is that way because you're going what, down the hill. And which is to the right? You said we the go hospitals to the right, and the um, and the um, right aids to the left. Okay, thank you. Next question. Thank you, Your Honor. Did that person then make a left-hand turn into the shopping center? Yes, he did. Where did he go once he drove into the shopping center? He went. He, he went all the way in, and then there's the right aid, and then he took a left. And then <clears throat> there's the bonds, and then there's 24-hour fitness, and he drove around to the back of the, um, the stores right there. When you say it's the back of the stores, um, would that be adjacent to uh, a planted area that leads towards the freeway on-ramp? Is it next to the plant area? The yeah, the free, well, when you go to the Vons, you go, there's the Rite Aid, and then there's the wall, and then there's the Vons, and then there's the 24-hour fitness. I don't know what's next to it. I think there's a, and then, yeah, there's a, <coughs> there's a fence, and that's where the uh, ice plant is. So I want to ask you about what happened after he drove you now to the rear of the shopping center. Once he, once he pulled over there, first, do you recall whether anybody was around? Yes, we had to stop for a lady that walked out from the store right there, and I was trying to, like, single her, like, hey, you know, I need some help here, this, you know. Do you remember whether or not you actually called out to the woman? I don't, I didn't try, I was just waving my hands, I, would, I didn't scream anything, like, help, help, or nothing. What were you thinking at that moment, why you didn't scream? I don't know. I just based on what he had said to you I wanted somebody to come to save me that's what I wanted but it didn't happen based on what he had said to you what did you think was going to happen as he was driving you I wasn't sure I, I, I just thought I was going to die I guess now you remember seeing this woman once you had driven well, once he had driven you to the area, to the rear side of the shopping center, 
Do you recall whether or not anyone else was around? <coughs> No, nobody came out. Do you, do you recall whether or not there were any cars that were parked there? There was two. And do you recall what type of cars they were or where they were it's parked? It's like a white Nissan, to? and I think there was a black one or a little, little do they were just little compact cars. Okay, let me just interrupt here. Make sure that Mr. Owens is finished asking the question before you give your answer because <clears throat> The court reporter is taking on everything you say, and if you start answering the question while he's still asking the question, we'll have overlapping statements, and the court reporter can't take them down both at the same time. So please be patient. Wait for Mr. Owens to finish his question, okay? All right. All right, thank you. Go ahead, Mr. Owens. Next question. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, you mentioned that you remember seeing two cars. Did you ever see any people that were walking around those cars or coming and going from that area at all? No people. Where did this man drive you after he pulled into that area near the two cars? It was just a, a little parking lot in the back, the corner of where the 24-hour uh, fitness. So there was one, two, three, three uh, parking spaces, and he pulled in right there. And did he actually park the car? He parked it right next to yeah, the other two cars. There was three parkings. There was one car, two cars, and then his truck, his Jeep. What happened after he pulled into the parking space back there? Um, I begged him not to do this, to let this happen. I, I go, uh, Please just let me go. You know, I'll never say a word. I, you know, I'm sorry that I asked you for a ride. You know, please just, you know, I'm begging you not to uh, to do that. Do this. I, you know, I won't tell anybody. You know, um, just please let me go. What did he say back to you? He goes, No, I'm gonna kill you if you say anything. I'm gonna. And uh, if you ever tell anybody, I will kill you. And, and he just kept on, you know, that was it. Did he ever show you any weapons? No, but he uh, he he uh, padded to his his uh, his because I uh, he padded to his pant leg, his short leg, and there was like it looked like something was in there. Okay, for the record, the witness is patting her the palm of her hand on her left thigh. Next question. Thank you, Your Honor. Did you ever specifically see if he had any weapons, though? No. Did you believe that he may have a weapon of some sort? Yes. What type of weapon did you think he had? I thought he had a gun. What did you think was going to happen if you didn't do what he was telling you to do? that I was going to die or be bleeding all over the place right across the street from the hospital. What happened after he continued to threaten you when you were begging for him to let you go? I, I said, if I do this, will you let me go? And I think he said yes. What happened next? Then he goes, let's go out, out, outside, and I will, I will see you out there. So we, we got out of the car. So we both got out of the Jeep, and uh, we walked <coughs> in back of the Jeep, and we walked towards the fence. That's where the freeway is. When you walked towards the fence, was that what you were describing as being the separator between the parking lot and the ice plant, I think you used? Well, 